up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA start. What's up guys, Jimmy here, and welcome to another Lots Games video. That of course is the legendary Konami code used in the original Contra, and I am super excited because today I'm gonna share with you guys the history of Contra Evolution, a game that uh, most of you probably don't have access to. Um, and before I get started with the history of this game, Contra Evolution, kind of go further back on how this series started. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like these types of videos, definitely hit that thumbs up button and uh, hope you guys enjoy. On February 20th, 1987, Konami released Contra. It was a fast-paced run-and-gun game that took the arcades by storm. The game's two heroes, Bill and Lance, were sent on a special mission to take down the dark and sinister Red Falcon Empire. This Red Falcon organization had set up a base near New Zealand, and it was their goal and purpose to wipe out mankind as quickly as possible. According to the marketing materials for this arcade game, the game was set in the year 2633. The gameplay for Contra was fast and furious with countless waves of soldiers gunning to take you down. To help even out the score, you would have the option to upgrade your basic gun with several other guns which included the machine gun, laser, fireball, and spread gun. The following year after Contra was released in the arcades, Konami released a version for the NES and Famicom. It did not take long for this version of Contra to become a smash hit on Nintendo's 8-bit console. If you still have the manual for the NES version, you'll notice that Contra was set in present day and not several hundred years later as was mentioned in the arcade promotional flyers. One of the big differences between the two versions for the Famicom and NES version was the Famicom version actually had an opening story that was not available for the NES version of Contra. From a visual perspective, Contra in the arcades was definitely a step above in terms of graphics when compared to the NES version. However, many would argue that overall the smoother gameplay from the NES Famicom version make it the superior version. In the comment section below, definitely let me know what your favorite version is, whether it's the arcade version, which is also available uh, for Xbox Live and, and other platforms, or you do prefer the NES version and Famicom version. Which one's more fun? Still this day, many people wonder what prompted Konami to title the game Contra. Seeing that Contra was released just months after the Iran Contra Fair, it definitely was a game that had people wondering since this was a game that was released not too far after when that whole situation was taking place. Many people believe to this day that the game was simply named after the Contras who fought in Nicaragua. From 1979 to the 90s, the Contra Rebels were against and fought against the National Reconstruction Government in Nicaragua. Many games were released for sequels and new entries in the Contra franchise. These games in the Contra franchise released for many different platforms, and I would be less than honest if I was to tell you that all these games in the series were welcomed with open arms by gamers around the world. However, some of the games that were released for home and portable platforms were well designed and a whole lot of fun. The Contra game that I'm going to talk to you about today is an interesting one. As stated in the title, Contra Evolution is what I'm going to be focusing on today. Back in 2010, Contra Evolution was released exclusively for cell phones in China. And the following year, 2011, Contra Evolution was then brought to the arcades. That's right. Contra Evolution was first released on cell phones and then in the arcades. It was then in 2013 that Contra Evolution was released to Android and iOS devices worldwide. Contra Evolution was an updated version of Contra that was on the NES and Famicom. Bill and Lance are here again, just like they were before, giving the opportunity to take down waves of bad guys using the machine gun, laser, fireball, and spread gun as well as a new edition of the homing missiles. 
In addition to the graphical upgrades in the game, Contra Evolution gave the option to select two other characters, Ricky and Sally. When you choose Ricky, you will notice that she uses dual wielding pistols to dispatch her foes. These two pistols for her basic attack actually fit Contra nicely, it kind of fits the theme and goes really well when taking down waves and waves of opposing soldiers. Unfortunately for the other playable character, Sally, her basic attack is not so intimidating. Sally uses a throwing knife for her basic attack. Through the different upgrades from the spread to the homing attack, Sally uses the, uh, these upgrades with throwing knives and ninja stars. In addition, if an enemy gets close enough to her, she will slice through them with a katana. Now, on paper, that sounds pretty amazing. That sounds pretty awesome. You know, ninja stars, throwing knives. The big problem with Sally's throwing knives and ninja stars is that they are so much more underpowered when compared to the guns for the other playable characters. If you know the strength of these ninja stars throwing st throwing knives were like at a higher level when compared to the, the guns, this would be a totally different story. Bill and Lance both do a great job for helping the action move at a great pace, just like they did before in the arcades and also on the NES and Famicom. For some reason, the blue hair on Lance makes me think he looks like one of the characters from Smash TV, that blue helmet that's in for the characters of Smash TV. It should also be noted that each character has their own catchphrase. Take them out! Bust and load it! It's time for revenge. So I will admit, it was definitely fun to play this version, Contra Evolution. You know, the NES version, the Famicom version with updated visuals. Contra Evolution was certainly easier when compared to the NES version. Uh, many of the opposing bu bullets that were shot at you came at a much slower rate. Uh, perhaps they chose this, the developers chose this, because when you're playing the game on a small device with these touch controls, the con touch controls aren't the best. Through the years of gaming on phones and devices, I think they've definitely improved by leaps and bounds for using touch controls. And for at the time when this game was released, they weren't that great. And so with the slower bullets coming at you, definitely made a lot more sense. By far, the biggest issue with Contra Evolution was the microtransactions. If you wanted to gain certain content to the game, you needed to pay for it with real money. This also included if you were not very good at the game, you needed to access more lives. You could get those more lives, but that would also mean that you'd need to spend real money at the App Store. Now, when Contra Evolution went live on the App Stores, uh, you had to pay for it. Um, but in due time, it became free to download. One day, Konami's like, you know what? You can just get the game for free. Still have to pay for the microtransactions though. And that continued, the controversy continued with these ridiculous microtransactions. On January 31st, 2015, Konami took Contra Evolution off the stores for mobile devices and is no longer available for download at the iOS and Google app stores. Contra Evolution was actually, it was taken off these app stores very quickly and quietly and Contra Evolution had about a five year run on phones and other iOS and Android devices. And, and you know, of course, as mentioned, it was at one point in the arcades, it was released in an arcade cabinet version. I will never forget the day I did download this game on my iPhone. And since I'm such a huge fan of Contra, I did enjoy the game for a time despite its shortcomings. And since I did play the original on the NES countless of times, uh, I had a lot of fun with this one. Um, and I was able to experience, you know, the same levels with a new visual look. And if you guys, if you had the chance to play Contra Evolution um, on, whether it was on Android or your iPhone or iOS, let me know in the comments section below what you thought of this game. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the history of Contra Evolution and let me know if you ever had the chance to download that game and if in fact that game is still on one of your iOS or Android devices, let me know in the comment section below. And again, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like these types of videos, definitely make sure to hit that thumbs up button. It means a whole lot. Thanks for watching guys. I'll talk to you later.